All right, everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be doing a multi time frame analysis or multi time frame analysis of Dito. No? Uh, I've received a few requests to do a multi time frame analysis of Dito. So I'm sorry it took me a while. No? Uh, it's been a busy few weeks. Uh, but <laughs> I finally gotten around to it. So I hope na makatulong sa inyo tong video na to. Kung sakali mang naipit kayo or you're looking for uh, possible ways to trade dito right now. Kunyari, favorite nyo tong i-trade. Or you're just looking for further analysis. Then, this video is for you. So, as always, we'll start off some monthly time frame. Now, minsan kapag ka I do multi-time frame analysis, uh, I would start off sa quarterly. But since... Technically speaking, Dito has only been Dito uh, for a shorter period of time, meaning before it was ISM and so on. No? So I don't want to focus too much on that chart pre-Dito. I want to focus more on it uh, nung naging Dito na siya or nag-start na siyang mag-speculate na magiging Dito na siya. Okay. So, if you will look, normally, I always say na ah, to the left of my chart may ganito, to the left of my chart may ganyan. Uh, in this particular instance, wala ako ganong tinamaan na to the left of my chart. Okay? Yes, this acted as resistance. This actually kind of acted as resist resistance as well. But, uh, I didn't put too much emphasis on them kasi at the time, hindi pa naman siya talaga dito. Alright? Baka kasi sabihin nyo, bakit di ka consistent? Eh, sabi mo dati, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, I'm just explaining my thought process. So, starting off sa monthly chart, ano may kita natin? One, syempre, yung pinaka-obvious, was we found resistance here. Diba? We hit 19 pesos. Then, from there, nag-reject tayo. Itong candle na to, actually, trinay lumaban yan eh. If we look at it at lower time frames, you can see na kahit pa paano, uh, may... Uh, push and pull sa bears and bulls, no? Uy, rhyme ah. Galing. <laughs> Sorry, mababaw kaligayahan ko eh. Um, so, but ultimately, bears won out, no? And from there, what happened was, kung saan tayo nakahanap ng resistance here, dito rin tayo nakahanap ng resistance on the way down, price push back, I pulled back, nag -resist, then we just went gradually lower from there. Now, from this time frame, maikita nyo yung sinasabi ko lagi na ayaw ko. Yung mga parang nag-drift pa baba. Yung mahihirap i-trade. Diba? Ito yon Yung mga ganitong style. Okay? Tapos, we drifted down. May mga strong moves, like so. But by and large, it was pretty small candles along the way for a few months. Yes, ito malakas. But if you look at it ng bigger picture, what it essentially did was we pushed down only to push back up. So essentially, we ended up at the same place. Same with this. Dito bumigay. We broke these lows here, no? Broke those lows here. Price came back. Tagged yung mga lows dito. Okay? Minor resistance. Then, what happened from there? What happened from there was, uh, nag-form na tayo ng range within this specific candle right there. Tong green candle na yan, The one with the arrow below. Now, normally, kung ganito yung situation... Dahil wala pang clarity, nag range pa. I always try to, quote-unquote, hack the range. It helps gives me perspective. And it helps me trade yung mga tighter ranges niya within that larger range if my opportunity to do so. Now, I've taken the liberty of uh, plotting out the segments na. Uh, but before I put them on, uh, I'm just gonna quickly explain how I do it. But if you want a more in-depth explanation of that, I have a video on how to quote-unquote hack ranges. You can check that out. I'll put the link in the description box below. Uh, you audio known is not as good because it's a slightly older video. But um, lakasan yun na ng konti yung volume nyo. Uh, the elements that I explained there are what I believe uh, uh, helpful no sa mga ganito pagkakataon. So I place fibs from 0 to 100% nitong candle na to. Like so. 
Then I essentially chopped out yung 50% mark, then yung 50% mark nung in between, and then another. So essentially 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And this is what it would look like. So tinago ko lang muna siya dito. Now we'll lay it down sa monthly time frame as well. Uh, forgive me as I do this just really quickly. Okay, so... Obviously, we'll discuss this more when we get to this time frame. But for now, this is what it would look like sa monthly time frame nyo. If you want to take a screenshot of that uh, for your reference para hindi nyo na kailangan i-fib or what have you, no? uh, you can do so now. Okay? So, essentially, price is trading within this candle. So, I wanted to take the range of that candle and uh, segment it in such a way that it made sense to me. Okay? It may not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. Now, you will notice na may RSI ako na nakalagay dito. But as I said in previous videos, uh, kapag sa monthly time frame, I don't really take notice of the RSI too much kasi it takes so long uh, for one candle to print that it will take a while for the RSI to change. So I'm not in a hurry or I'm not prioritizing looking na, uy, RSI above 50 or what have you. Um, it's not something na for me to get excited about. Okay, so I think from here, we've done what we can do some monthly time frame. So let's move down to weekly time frame and we can discuss these segments more there. But before we do, um, what this looks to me, number one, is obviously my bearish move. Then after the bearish move, we might be starting to consolidate within this range from 6.6 hanging 9.14. Obviously, it's a very wide range, no? So, you shouldn't say na, Oh, basta pag nabay ko 6.6 sa 9.14, 50% gain. Hindi ganon, no? But, that's what price is trapped doing right now in this larger time frame. Now, let's go down sa weekly time frame and check. Now, from this time frame, lakihan ko lang guys ha, para mas madali para sa inyo. From this time frame, ah, sorry, balik ko pala muna. Ah, uh, I've been able to flesh out more levels of interest. Okay, so from here, ito yung support natin at 6.6. .6. Next resistance level is 9.14. And if you can see, nagdrawing din ako na zone dyan prior to putting the fib levels down. I'll explain that zone in a bit. Then from there, we have resistances at 10.34 and 11.38. And if we're looking at the weekly time frame, obvious na obvious yung downtrend. Diba? So high... Lower, uh, high, low, lower, high, lower, low. Pwede mo sabihin na ito rin yung lower, high, that lower, high, lower, low, and so on, no? Uh, very obvious yung downtrend, even if I don't point it out. And in this time frame, aside from yung sinasabi ko na possible na we are ranging within this larger candle, sa monthly, no? Uh, there's still no sign of reversal. Uh, to those who follow my content, you know, oopsie, you know na I don't take yung mga, ah, ito may doji dito or kung ano, uh, ano mga firefly ba yun, gravestone, whatever. Uh, may doji dito, so that means it's a reversal candle. Uh, I don't subscribe to that necessarily. Uh, ang pinakamasabi ko lang, yes, it might have carved out a low here, but since it hasn't necessarily printed another high, then there's really not much to see, structurally speaking, at least in this time frame. Okay, but I did notice tong white zone na to. Ano tong white zone na to? Itong white zone na to, if you will look at this candle here, okay? Sorry, mas mahirap mag-drawing kapag naka-zoom in eh. Yun yung napansin ko. So, let me try to zoom out a bit. If you notice that candle there, okay? Diyan yung last bit of consolidation or bullishness prior to the move down. Three strong can red candles down, di ba? So, I've drawn an area there kasi iniisip ko na if price does move back up to that area, okay, let's say price move back up to that area, there's a likelihood na within this area here, price could react and either push back down, di ba? Push back down. Kasi pwede na tumama dyan. Ang mangyari is mag-form tayo ng uh, triangle of some sorts, eh. But it's possible. Or, it could push higher from there 
enter into that zone, consolidate, then from there, again, nag-react, mag do siya mag decide if it wants to push higher or if, want, if it wants to go up, consolidate, then come back down. But regardless, I am expecting some type of reaction if it comes up into this white area. Okay, again, for now, that's a little iffy, no? Hindi ko alam if it's gonna just jump there. It's gonna, it might take a while. But if it does, I'm expecting some type of reaction. And incidentally, my confluence siya dun sa fib level na nagay na, mga na, na nagay natin here. Okay? So weekly, pwede na natin tingnan yung RSI. And from here, you can look, meron ba tayong divergence? Wala, no? Uh, very clear cut, wala. Okay? RSI is obviously below 50. Ay, sorry, hindi ko pala nailagay. RSI is obviously below 50. We are currently at 39.13. Okay, para medyo mas precise tayo ng konti, no? Uh, so, we're at 39.13. So, it's not the best. Um, even sa indicators, there's no early signs of reversal. And volume-wise, volume, volume -wise, uh, it's been pretty muted, no? Compared to before. So, if you look at it, here and then you start comparing it to here then the volume has been pretty yun nga pretty muted medyo tahimik um, hindi natin masabi outright na uy at least may volume may spotted na ano wala pa okay wala pa unfortunately so from here let's move down to the daily time frame and we can assess these levels better okay um, first let's look at the RSI because I wanted to turn it off para lang mas malaki yung chart natin okay Meron ba tayong naging divergence? So, from here to here, wala, no? So, after that, obviously, no divergence needed. We are still trading below RSI 50. Okay? And even yung RSI, from that alone, maikita natin na nagko-consolidate din siya. Okay? Nagko-consolidate din siya. Where is it consolidating? Dito rin, kung saan tayo nag-drift down. Like ko sinasabi... Na ayo na ayo ko yung mga ganitong structures na nag-drift lang. And this is why. Kasi eventually, if price does come back into them, nangyayari is ganun din. Nag-chop around din tayo. Kasi nag-chop around din tayo dun before. So kung may mga naipit dito, trying to catch the low, if price pushes back up, some people might decide na, ah, o sige, lalabas na ako, makakalabas akong buhay. Or some people might decide na, ah, okay, ah, kung nakasalo ako dito sa ba, okay na yan, kumita na ako ng konti. And so on. Okay? So, let me take RSI off now para lang mas malaki ng quantity chart natin. Alright. So, from here, maikita na natin yung usefulness ng levels. So, essentially, the level was carved from here to here. Diba? Now, what happened after that? Price broke down. Okay? Tapos, etong level na to, na hindi naman natin pinagplanuhan, nakikita nyo, wala akong nakadrawing sa daily chart, ba ng mga previous levels. Dito tayo naghanap ng resistance. When it broke out, dito tayo naghanap ng support around that area. ba Then, nung nag-support tayo dito, price consolidated above it, dyan din tayo naghanap ng support. When it broke down, price put, tried to push back up, dyan tayo naghanap ng resistance. Okay, dyan tayo naghanap ng resistance. Broke down. Saan tayo nakanap ng resistance? Hindi ba dito din? Again, hindi natin pinagplanuhan. Price fell down. Saan tayo nakanap ng support? Around this area. Push up. Diyan din tayo nauntog. Push down. Diyan din tayo nakahanap more or less ng support. Push up. Diyan tayo nakanap ng resistance. And so on, no? Again, support, support. So that's why I like using yung mga quote-unquote range hacks kapag ka, nag, kapag ka ganun na naiipit siya sa malalaking higher time frame candle kasi sa lower time frames na segment siya in such a way na it becomes more readable to me and I can try to anticipate potential reversals or quick bounces dun sa mga uh, segmented ranges na yon so kunyari from here uh, nung nag push back down quickly ate it back up might have been able to find a trade to go back up to 7.87. I'll be honest, I didn't get one. Okay, I wasn't focused on dito. Okay, same banana here. Diba? When it broke back up, you could have quickly found a trade to the upside. Diba? From here, we can add added confluence na meron tayong trend line going from 
napababa, no? So, ito yung mga touches niya. May three touches na tayo from before. This is the fourth touch here. Okay, if you watch yung mga daily charting sessions natin, I stress na kailangan ma-break yung trend line to the upside uh, for bullishness din, no? Kasi, uh, actually, mamaya konti yun. But again, I'm, ah, uh, ito? Unnecessarily uh, distracting myself. So, yun yung purpose ng pag-segment ng mga ranges to find possible trades kung may mag-form na bias around those areas. Okay? So, moving on. Na-segment na natin. May range na. Alam natin na sa higher time frames, sa monthly, it was very bearish, now potentially ranging. Sa weekly, it's still looking very bearish. And sa daily, obviously, bearish pa din. There's no sign of a bullish reversal. When we can say na uh, ito nag-low, tapos nag ano, higher low, higher high, ba? But even if you look at it that way, which was a very short-term reversal, and it was, no? Tama naman. Nabawi na siya. Okay? Nabawi na siya by now. Bumalik na yung uh, bearishness. Kasi may high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower ho. And so, so on. ba? Tanggalin ko lang. Okay? Sorry guys, tinatanggal ko. May mga nagsasabi kasi naguguluhan daw sila pag sobrang dami akong lines chart. So, I try to clean as I go. No? Parang kusina. Okay? So, ganon pa rin. So, even, so, yung smaller picture nag-reverse na, sa bigger picture, it still looks like tuloy pa rin yung lower highs and lower lows natin. So, wala pa talagang expectation na may reversal na in the works. Okay? At least, technically speaking. Now, I can practically hear yung mga nag-iisip na, eh, ang fundamentals ng dito, ganito, and ganyan eh. Now, I am not here to bash dito or bash its fundamentals. For all I know, bukas, biglang magta-20 pesos yan. I don't know. Okay? I honestly don't know. Uh, what I can say is, currently, um, kung nakabili ka nung unang-una pa lang yung dito sa area na to, then yes, um, you would still be in profit. However, your profit would have been greatly reduced kung hinold mo lang. If the expectation was, ah, bibili ako ng uh, kailan yun? Mga piso at dito, di ba? 1.6 na nag-pandemic. Ano? Piso ba to? Ah, uh, 1.22. Basta mga ganun, no? Tapos, hi-hold ko lang, aabot yun ng 1,000 like PLDT or 3,000 like Globe or whatever. Then, uh, obviously, your profits would have been greatly reduced. Pwede namang bumalik eh. Diba? Uh, I am not an expert in the fundamentals, so don't bash me in the comments. All I'm saying is, based from the chart right now, okay? Based on the chart right now, it's still looking very bearish. It may follow yung uh, fundamental bias ng karamihan ng tao sooner rather than later. But for now, Okay, as of the, this recording, uh, it's still looking quite bearish. Now, uh, let's break it down even further. If you're bullish, what do you want to see sa dito? For me, hindi na enough na umangat lang siya, mag ganito, play the segments. Kasi kapag ganun, nakita ko na na nangyari dito. Eh. I know that we're trapped in a larger range. Kasi we've looked at it from a higher time frame eh. Diba? So, I know we're trapped in a larger range. So, what do I want to see? I want to see break here. I want to see price move, break above the white zone, and actually start pushing higher. Kahit mas late ako makapasok, okay lang. But I don't want to be trapped within this chop. Does it mean that I won't trade it yung based on these segments? Of course not. If a trade opportunity presents itself based on my system, I take it. But I won't be so optimistic to the point na kunyari, sabihin lang natin ha, na magkaroon ako ng action ng uh, system entry here. Hindi ko iisipin agad na, ah, okay, to the moon na to. I would consider yung mga resistances formed by yung mga segments sa drenowing ko and this white zone here, which was the area of previous consolidation sa weekly chart. I would put those all in my mind and temper my expectations and not believe na just because nagkaroon ako ng signal based on whatever system that I deem to use, na magtutuda mo na kagad tayo. And yun, yun yung gusto kong i-impress sa mga tao that sometimes you really do need to temper your expectations 
na just because there's a system entry, it doesn't mean that the chart's gonna go to the moon. Kasi kailangan pa rin natin i-consider yung mga areas where there was business conducted in the chart. Mga areas of previous consolidation, mga prices trapped within larger ranges, and so on. Ibang usapan kung may ma-inject na bagong fundamental driver sa dito. Like for example, I mean, I, I know hindi siya tatakbo, no? but kunyari lang. For example, biglang tumakbo si... Uh, yung owner ng dito as president ng Philippines as manalo ayun syempre ibang usapan di ba so may mga ganong aspects na syempre hindi mo mababasa from the chart right now okay? but for, for now yun lang yun if you get a system entry just be sure to temper your expectations based sa mga resistances that we can see sa chart even if we remove yung mga segments na to kunyari hindi kayo naniniwala na uh, Hindi, the pwedeng i-hack yung mga range niya, kalokohan yan. That's fine. Ayaw mo maniwala ng fib, that's fine. Kalokohan yung fib, that's all okay. But again, dito pa lang. Dito sa area of previous consolidation na to, price might find some reaction. So I would want to see a more uh, monumental push. Para masabi ko talaga na, uy, nagkaroon tayo ng change, bullish na tayo. Diba? Kasi kapag mag-break tayo dito, Essentially, kahit sa mas malaking picture, we formed higher low, uh, low, high, higher low, higher high. Diba? Yan yung weekly picture. If you look at it, yan yun eh. So essentially, nag-form na tayo ng clear cut na uh, trend change. Right now, we can say na, eh diba ganun na nga, nag-form na tayo. But again, too early to tell. It can still push lower from here. We don't know. Diba? And based sa lower time frame, yung nga, nakikita natin that it is doing exactly that. So, if ma-break dito sa lower time frame tong 7.11, 7.10 na area, then the expectation is we might come back and revisit tong 6.6. And if that breaks as well, then we likely revisit much, much lower. Okay. Kasi dito, kahit pa paano, may mga nagka-protecta pa eh. But if we break this 6.6, this support breaks, I think um, baka magkaroon ng sell-off. Maraming magkakat, maraming lalabas na. Kasi talagang pumapangit na talagang itsura. Not that I'm saying na maganda yung itsura right now, pero at least ngayon, kahit pa paano, may konting glimmer pa eh. Diba? Kumbaga, kahit pa paano, nakikita mo pa yung pinprick of light at the end of the tunnel, but if ma-break pa natin yan, then medyo... Mukhang tutuloy pa yung pagbaba, no? Wag naman sana. Wag naman sana. Okay, so guys, that's it, no? For our multi-time frame analysis of Dito. I hope na nakatulong sa inyo to. I hope that you found it educational or helpful or at the very least, mildly entertaining. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!